Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Eeker, and today I'm going to be talking to you about a full fishing guide for Destiny 2, as well as how to get that focus fishing bar filled, as well as also how to unlock the triumph or the upgrade for your fishing and quest for Season of the Deep. So if you guys can see right here, if we go ahead and go to our seasonal things, we can see weekly and seasonal bonuses. And if you take a look over here, you can get the angler perk, which as a efficient angler, which is catch fish while it's a fishing pod, is at a maximum catch bonus. Uh, and the perk that you gain is when fishing with bait, you have a chance to have your bait returned after catching a fish, which is super good and it's awesome. Uh, I want to show you guys just a couple of the fish that I caught just from getting this. Uh, when we had our efficient angler done, um, as well as on the screen, some of the stuff that I get, how many fish I do collect. Uh, hopefully I do include this in here as it was a past recording, um, just depending on how good the quality is. But if it's super easy, um, I'm going to show you guys a new bait farm as well as all that stuff. So let's see what happens when we go ahead and release our exotic fish. Looks like we got an Ascendant Shard and a Celestial Nighthawk, which is just free XP. And also, I just want to let you guys know if you are running the full loadout right here, for the NPA or the kind of deep effect or whatever battleground you are doing for this season. Um, they do increase your XP rewards, which will also help you with other quests. So there's four of those for you. There's four legendary fish. We got 22 XP, 10k glimmer, and a couple purples. And obviously if we wheeler our 70 normal fish, and that's going to give us 132 XP. The blues and the green fishes are only going to give you XP. Uh, the purples can give you any weapon from over here, as well as random armor pieces and stuff. And exotics are just as shows, just random exotics that you guys do get. Um, but if you guys are looking to farm and don't know how to do it, uh, the left side of your screen when you are fishing uh, is going to be your focusing. And you want to fill that up to max. Once it says the fishes are going crazy or something of these uh, such, that is when your bar is completely full. And also to show you guys something that I kind of learned, and obviously it's pretty easy to see and read, um, but a lot of people don't even notice when they're looking or take a look at their fishing tackle. Um, you can see at the bottom that it says increase activity detected in outskirts of EDZ, which is kind of just a bonus of where you're going to get more fish, uh, more popularity of fish and all that such. So make sure you go ahead and pay attention to that. We don't know if it's weekly. We don't know if it's daily right now. Uh, on this recording, it doesn't look like it's daily. Um, from my instance, I'm recording at 1.37 p.m. And I believe reset has already happened. Um, so it would have it would have already changed if it was daily. Uh, but just kind of some pointers for fishing is if you are going to the EDZ or wherever is popular, go ahead and take yourself to somewhere where people either A, already have the bar kind of filled, and don't have a public event coming because obviously when that public event starts sadly the fishing goes away i don't understand what the point of that is i think that's kind of a bummer um but it's going to make it harder for you to fish if you spawn somewhere and the public event is starting and also if there's not two to three uh people already fishing there when you get there i would recommend leaving and finding somewhere else to go i would definitely not stay to that one because at that point you're just going to be wasting bait and for the last piece uh, the bait farm or one of the easiest ways to get bait is going to be going ahead and go into your director Go ahead and starting that deep dive mission or go ahead and starting that salvage mission. So if you guys gain keys Which would be located over here in your inventory you guys do get more deep engrams and I have been noticing a couple times I do get more bait uh, some of the easy ways to get bait is going to be some of the easiest ways is going to be getting deep dives completed as well as salvages completed playing comp um and i believe normal crucible has a chance to drop but it's not guaranteed but i noticed from playing comp i was getting about 20 to 50 uh bait every time deep dives give you about 8 to 15 um and then chess pieces and stuff like that do help the gain as well as some of the coral around the map does give you bait as well so it's kind of just an exploring thing uh, I'm sure there's going to be a major farm here soon, and we will be figuring it out and uploading it for you guys. But make sure you guys are running these armor pieces to help you get more XP to level up over here at the sonar table, which will also give you more of these done. So if you look over here, I got to get to rank 13, I got to get to rank 7, I got to do all this extra stuff, but wearing that armor is going to give you more XP. So as you can see, you gain a 3% additional 
reputation, and a maximum of 12 for each item. So I have obviously all the items on, which are maxing out my XP gains. So I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. I will try to include a uh, portion of me hitting the exotic fish as well as four legendary fish on that one run with the full focus. Uh, if I don't include it, you're just going to have to trust me. I do have the new thing for it as well unlocked. But I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you are new to the channel, go ahead and hit that like button. I'm going to try to put as much Destiny 2 content as I can out for this season. Help you guys out and go ahead and build that community. So I hope you guys did enjoy. Peace.